No one said we were smart or good at what we do, so. (laughs) But yet, people still listen. I don't know why or how. I apologize to all of you. (laughs) Oh, wait, we're recording? Come on. Shit. (laughs) That's a silly question. Wait, don't turn the channel. You've tuned into High Gravity. The show where we talk about beer, brewing, and bullshit. Where the only thing we take seriously is the next round. So grab a glass, fill it with something cold, and enjoy the show. Don't listen Just to us. Delete that previous joke I said. Oh yeah, this is I, I hit it after that. <laughs> oh, so good. I mean if if he had already hit the button. No so one wants to, to know about the scissors joke. <laughs> today oh, is uh, another interesting theme today. Today's or kind the 0% of uh, <laughs> a grapefruit theme. Um <clears throat> we're drinking grapefruit beers today because I saw grapefruit beers and decided why the fuck not? Let's Hell try grapefruit yeah. beers. Um, Ooh, <laughs> well, I know someone here does not like grapefruit beers at all. No, Ooh. so who does? Who does? You like grapefruit beers? I love it. Say, look beer. at that. <laughs> oh, wait, she's back again. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am back. <laughs> <laughs> she's never left. I, I, uh, yeah. She's sleeping here now. <laughs> once, once again. Did you get the cot or did you sleep on the floor like he did the one time? <laughs> I choose not to answer where I slept. No. <laughs> Pass the duchy to the left. I didn't even read this can before we started pouring it, but uh, I'll give it to you now. Um, <laughs> Thank phrasing. you. So this is uh, Perrin, Liquid Craftsmanship, Perrin Brewing Company, uh, Grapefruit IPA, 5% ABV. Hey, crack the second one. Uh, it's it's a nice looking can. You know, it's got little like kind of grapefruit clip art on it. The colors are, you know, <laughs> so beautiful. Crack the second one. <laughs> Aromas of citrus and tropical fruits, a delicate grapefruit tartness, and a sweet malty backbone ending in a clean finish. So remember all those words. So I did the last one. I didn't get any. So I said crack the, the second one. Oh, yeah. This dip, dip. Here, hang on. There you go. Thanks. I appreciate that. It was one drop of beer in that can. It couldn't have been more perfect. Don't like. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, this one's not that great. That's like drinking it's not good. Juice. It doesn't smell anything like grapefruit. Nope. It tastes like a. It tastes like licking a grapefruit. Yeah. It's it's got a very 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 light hop aroma that mm-hmm. kind of like cat piss pine. Like, I mean, I like. I wouldn't even call so, it hop. I'd call it but, grapefruit aroma. Honestly. How does grapefruit taste? Mm-hmm. See, I. I would say out of my. I, I love grapefruit. It's one of my I favorite like beers, well. and this is not one of my favorite grapefruit yeah, the, beers. I don't feel like the grapefruit stands out enough. I think it like comes through kind of weak. Weaker. I think if it were colder, it'd be a little better. I, I've had it ice cold. It tastes exactly the same. I don't know. I, I mean, I eat grapefruit like it's going out of style. So yeah, I don't is... hate it. I li- I kind of like it. It's definitely a more subtle grapefruit. To me, it tastes it, it tastes like an IPA that someone put some kind of fruit trees in. I would not even I wouldn't be it. able to pick grapefruit out of a lineup. Oh, I I, I could easily. And I, there's there's a lot of grapefruit dominance to this in the nose, in the mm-hmm. profile. Maybe I just don't fuck. With, I mean, I, I, grapefruit sparkling water is like my favorite flavor mm-hmm. of sparkling water, and that has more grapefruit flavor to me than this. Uh, I, I can't say I agree with that, and I've had that before. I think this is. Maybe there's, there's just a some, lot more here. Maybe yeah, there's something about my palate in this yeah. beer. I just don't get Maybe the grapefruit. The beer itself doesn't taste that good. I agree. I don't like it. I do. I Sorry. will not be buying this again. <laughs> so he said he doesn't like it. You said you did. I do. Go yeah. figure. <laughs> it never happens. Dude, where do you think I'm siding? <laughs> You're literally in the middle here, so I don't know. <laughs> I feel like my favorite brewery like should it. make one of these to compare. Oh, War Water? Yeah, that would no, be great. No, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> I Daryl, was... Daryl wants to kill me. <laughs> I was staring across the table, but he missed that. <laughs> well, I saw that, and then he said that bullshit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I mean, he could have said... Our, uh, he I'm going to cry. He could have said the one, uh, the one over in New Baltimore there, though. New Baltimore. I don't want to say their name. But don't say their names. Yeah. But in my opinion, they're the not as good as they're not as good as War Water. <laughs> Although I will say the one you're talking about, I stopped by last time and they had some really good beers that were impressive. I every time I've been there, I felt like they 
you always have that learning oh, curve going from the, being a home brewer that? to being a commercial brewer and working in larger scale. And I felt like Dude, all the misses the they fuck? had were because they were, you know, getting through that curve. But that was like two or three years in, and I'm like, your beer still yeah. tastes like you. I think some of it too, though, is you look at their style. A lot of the flavors, their beers, like they put a lot that. into it. Yeah, so it's not like the beers that we work can. on. But I feel like Johnny always gets the floaters. <laughs> yeah, but that's an amount that makes me go, what the fuck? Remember what I said. Don't drink the yeast. Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna drink around it though. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I wanna save the beer that's around the floor. I would explain what's going on, but don't wanna make you sick. There's a there's a lot of a lot of yeast in Johnny's beer somehow, which is weird for a canned beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That really that's weird. what I said. But anyway, so yeah, so you'd say that they're they've made some. Uh, so some of the, a lot of their beers, though, the flavors in them are extreme. Like some of them that had, I don't think they go together. When I taste them, I don't think they really go together. But people like them a lot, huh? And yeah. so they they have a different style. Well, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested to see now, like the local clientele there. Now they have uh, another brewery not too far away. Um, oh yep. So and I I've, I've been there frequently and they their beers always been good. Their beers are more traditional too. Yes. When you look at it. But I, I am surprised for a new brewery to come out like that and then like have like fucking sixteen different beers on tap. Like they gotta be working a lot. Like, you know, I think they got a seven barrel system, so they're making a lot of them. But to so be no, a brewery that's less this. than a year old and have like Wait, 16 styles. Let's think about this now. You said New Baltimore, two breweries. There's, like, There's two. <laughs> you just narrowed the whole thing down. Yep. Anyone so with a little not, research got it. Why I can I, I can say names. I don't a give a shit what they think about my they, opinion of them. I have the a mug well, at one of them, and I like one of them. I like ah, both of them. One. Yeah. I figured. It I out. haven't been to the other one in like a year and a half. So, because like, and I've said this before. When I go to a new brewery. Like, if you've got, like, a stout and a pilsner, like, those are the two I'm going to try because a stout, you can't fuck it up. Exactly. So if you do, I'm Uh, probably not going to like your pilsner. It's fairly easy to fuck up a stout. And then you try a pilsner, and that's a lot easier to fuck up. Agreed. So if your pilsner's not good and your stout is good, I can kind of be like, okay, I understand that. But if, if you fuck up a stout, like, I mean... Let me ask you this, though. Is the beer bad, like... Don't drink it bad. The first time I went, yeah. The second time I went, the first time I went, every beer I tried tasted like acetylacide. Oof. Which to me said that they were either rushing their beers to get them kegged and not letting their yeast finish its job, or B, just didn't know enough to taste a beer and be like, oh, that tastes like, you know, fucking shitty apple juice. Like, maybe I shouldn't serve that to clientele. But... I think there is a large cross section of clientele, specifically in like, you know, a location like Chesterfield where there is no other options, where people going and drinking that beer don't know any better either. There's a winery local to me that's that way. So, exactly. I like a lot of what they have, but anytime, I, with exception of one of their wines, I taste the sulfites in every glass that I drink they have. Every single wine yeah. and i think every, and every palate's different too so yeah. maybe most people are going to taste that and like and i i can attest to it I, I brewed a pilsner once years ago and i didn't have time to let the yeast finish up and it did have that kind of like you know sour apple juice taste yeah. to that acetylacetide and everyone who drank was no it's good it's good it's good and i'm like well you're saying that because you don't know better it's not it's bad That's the thing it depends what it is and it's it's a negative statement but if you're servicing an area that doesn't know what they're drinking, they can get away with exactly. a lot. And unfortunately, everybody in that area raves about it and they love it because they don't know what they're doing. Well, you know what I thought was interesting? But it kind of sucks. <laughs> was their sour beer was good. And hmm. who knows how far they're keeping that sour fermenter away from their regular <laughs> fermenters yeah. and, you know, the cross pollination of that. Because, yeah. you know, as Daryl said before, there'll never be a sour here. Nope. Because Never. you run the risk of fucking up the rescue and if, beers. If there is, you snuck it in. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. I've never I, been a sour beer fan. I, I they, like, I like them in small lot. amounts. Yeah. yeah they, I like them in small amounts, but they don't yes. really like me. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, the only time I've had a, 
immediate reaction to beers that I've been drinking was the night we did sours in the, the judging class. My stomach was hurting the entire drive home from that class. Yep. Oh, my God. There is only one sour beer that I've ever had that I liked. And I'll say it was loaded dice made, I don't even remember what it was called, but it tasted like uh, pixie sticks. And I couldn't stop mm. drinking oh. them. Oh, with that, like, That's sugar, a- citric acid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With a little and bit of the paper taste on top of not it. The paper no, taste. So no, he got rid of that. <laughs> should, that was the best hour beer I've ever had. Should have served it through a paper straw so you got the full experience. <laughs> well, I got myself in trouble that night. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, Sounds I've, like a good time. I've remembered far, far too many beer festivals before I really figured out what was what the problem was. Like, you know, don't drink try, every single thing. Yeah, well, don't drink every sour and then Ooh, every other yeah. beer. And like, I just remember like we were at a, a beer festival on the beach. And uh, it was Burning Foot out in Muskegon. That sounds fun. And it was, dude, it was super fun. Um, But, like, I drank all the beers, and then there's a ton of sours. And I drank this one sour that was just, it was so powerful. It was, like, pure citric acid. And I remember remember throwing up, and, like, it went through my nose. Oh, I hate when that happens. It was burned so bad. It's like worse that, if you're drinking a lot of moonshine and then you got to throw up. And well, then, we weren't at a moonshine festival. Um, it's a bad night. But bad night. You know, I don't. Uh, I don't drink three quarters of a quart of moonshine okay. when someone shows up. No comment. With some U to B. <laughs> I remember what it's called. U to B. See, yes, I remember. Yes, yeah. See, I learned. So anyway, next beer. Because uh, it's about fucking time. I, I see empty glasses. I, I saw. Stuff. I saw Daryl literally yeah. fidgeting. Mm-hmm. I must um, requisition the rinse if I may from someone. Please kiss him. This that. one's uh, Ruby's I, Revenge. Well, I need something to dump it in. <laughs> Do you drink? I have you not drink. <laughs> oh, the yeast. Yeah, he doesn't want to drink so, the yeast. So first, thank you for a scale. If I'm saying I'm not drinking it, there's a lot of it. I forgot about that. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't do it. No. Don't com- don't be one of those people that confuses doing with and not the doing. beer. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> the Ruby's Revenge Imperial Grapefruit IPA, Daryl. I yeah, I think we should move on to that as well. Yes. I'm in. From I Great, it. Great Lakes Brewing Company. Ooh. The artwork on this is fantastic. It's very um, pink. It's got this like it is very pink and like yellow and like the colors are vibrant and it's got this like vining creature on it where it's like a grapefruit with these gnarly teeth. Which show is that from? From the seventies? I was I was gonna say this reminds me of uh seymour feed me seymour yeah, <laughs> like the uh, what is that it was uh rick moranis um was uh, in the movie um Rec- that no cool no that's um <laughs> the big plant yeah, the horror something what little shop of horrors, little little shop yeah, of horrors. that's it thank I, I, you i remember seeing <laughs> that at the uh um the macomb county theater i saw a uh, a live performance of it <laughs> like when i, I was think a kid. it was rocky horror i'm like no that's a totally different <laughs> definitely one. not the rocky horror i know picture. it's not i mean <laughs> It could be. <laughs> but, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Ruby's Revenge Imperial Grapefruit IPA is a IPA with grapefruit. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. So Ruby's Revenge, fiercely fresh ruby red grapefruit tangles with tantalizing citrusy hop aromas oh. to cultivate this biting Imperial IPA at 8% 75 Ibus. I have high hopes for this one. I'm actually kind of excited about yeah. this. So I, I think I tried this beer like... <laughs> Before? No, like a long time ago. Don't like, ruin it on us. No, 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 no. <laughs> it smells good. No, no, no. I mean, from what I remember, I remember that the, the look of the can, and I think I really liked it. But I also don't really remember what it tastes like, if that makes sense. <laughs> good call, Daryl. <laughs> we had two cans on the table for a raisin. A raisin? Hey, oh, no. someone heard it. <laughs> and now I am leaving for no raisin. <laughs> That's the first thought that popped into my head. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Show. Yeah, future. I'm always comes around. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Definitely smell it sweeter. Smells great. Yeah. So if I say I've never really ro- watched that show, will you still let me back? No. Futurama. <laughs> Go watch it. Yep. You no. never watch Futurama. They're all on Hulu. They're it will. Hilarious. It will make you laugh and then tug your heartstrings, and it's way better if you're smart. But the episode with the <laughs> episode maybe that's why like I haven't it. watched yeah. it. <laughs> it's, it is a the lot better. The episode with Fred's dog will make you. Cry. No, my God. Jurassic so, Bark. I mean, I've caught Fuck like the writer who wrote that episode. By I've caught the way. like I will bits and pieces, but no, I've never really. It's got juicy flavor. Yeah, but not. Not too sweet or too bitter. Oh, like a lot of juicies are they? They go way off the deep end in both directions. <laughs> juicy. <laughs> I didn't say wet and juicy. It is wet and juicy. I didn't but. say wet either. I just said juicy. 
I so it, it doesn't have a dry finish like a lot of grapefruit ones tend to. It's juicy. <laughs> I'm still like asking it. for more grapefruit. So agreed. Maybe a touch colder. Maybe you yes. get something. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, the hops are pulling out more because mm-hmm. warmer. I want it to be a little colder. I back door. <laughs> what episode was that? <laughs> I I don't hate it, mm. but I mean, it's like it wants to be a grapefruit, but there's not enough to it. Like if this was, it tastes like it's something that's been aged out for a while. So the grapefruit's very subtle. But I could use the, a little more grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, I could drink this at eight percent. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It definitely feels lighter than eight percent. It's like not you, real bitter. I would one hundred percent have a more lot more. The, the uh, oils from the hops. Yeah. As far as an imperial IPA goes, I could imagine myself drinking a couple of these ice cold, like on a hot day, and not really oh, yeah. recognizing what I'm doing. Once it gets to that room really... temp, though, might might detract a little bit from it. Once it warms up a bit. Yeah. So would recommend, but. Yeah. Um, Ice, ice cold. And don't expect a t- crazy amount of grapefruit on Mm-mm. it. It's, it's subtle. I like it. I like it, though. But I almost wonder if more of that grapefruit taste would come out if it was ice, ice cold or it not. May. Oh, well. Excuse me. I just like ice cold beer. That's just me. I don't I know. Agree. I agree. I don't like, I don't well, like warm stuff. I think we, we, we suffer from the advantage of normally when we're drinking the beers, they're like, most imperial beers are like stouts and porters and browns. And, yeah. You know, so they're warmer. The, yeah. Stout. There's styles that are typically warmer. Um, but I, I think we had like a little bit of... Uh, it's a little of, bit of this when we did like the the meta brew episodes because like when those beers started to warm up the yeah those lighter beers that had less you know kind of less grain bill to them the hops were just completely stand out. This has a very interesting mouthfeel after you let it sit for a minute. It, it's still there, like it's very clingy inside the mouth. Yeah, my my like the roof of my mouth feels dry. Yeah, after drinking this, which is I think the hops, but it's still got that little hint of grapefruit to it though which is what's wild to me and so it's just me noticing that one i really just don't there's trying to figure out the smell i don't know it's it's weird it's i'm gonna have to play roulette and bring my ones that are either the cider or the grapefruit shandy one of these days smells like that (laughs) (laughs) like it does, yeah. It smells like the smells like vine a... beast. Yeah, the Plant's about to eat you. Eat you. Ooh, Uh-oh. Maybe? Nope. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Nope. I think they were here yesterday. Why the fuck are you waving at them? Like they, <laughs> they just looked at the sign that, like they wanted to come in. I mean, you're not open yet, right? <laughs> no. You, you do realize also that those that was the people who drove over the curb. No, it wasn't, was it? No. Yes. I, oh, I, I recognize that guy's beard. I will oh. I don't miss a good was beard. Was it really? <laughs> yeah. He was here yesterday. <laughs> well he Maybe drove, that's why he, he drove, drove over, over the, the curb, curb and we made fun <laughs> of him. Shit. And we made fun of him. Hopefully he doesn't listen to our podcast because we were we were mean to him. <laughs> listen, man, everyone More runs concern. over a curb now and then. More concern. It happens. Mm. It happens to the best of us. If Not you me, tell but me I mean you've it's never okay driven over the curb. Oh, never once in my life. I'm perfect at everything I do. If you're a small child, you're okay. I don't think so. What about a large child i sure hope not what if i ran that my kid brother was fat. over okay. i heard that okay. story that's acceptable i haven't heard he probably that. deserved it i heard i, I ran philip over in an f-250 truck holy shit <laughs> yeah I heard, <laughs> like, like, like i heard over? when they were younger like, like over. Philip, over. philip was basically gumby like he was impossible <laughs> to destroy damn well we were dropping off the garbage in the apartment complex <laughs> okay and then philip's in the back bed of the truck and so while i'm rolling through he decides to jump off he jumps off of the truck lands falls underneath my truck that's rolling and all i felt was a holy hell and i put on the brakes and i stopped and the feeling that came over is something i've never felt before oh i can imagine and then he jumps up starts cursing and swearing jumping around like damn you okay he's alive (laughs) oh my god he had Tire marks across his chest. What's the hell? Did you not break anything? You so we called that 911. Is not a white truck. We called 911. The ambulance showed up, checked us. Said, You're fine. You should go get checked out for like internal bleeding. Yeah. But we don't notice anything except for the marks on your body. What the hell? So I called mom up. I'm like, mom, just to let you know everything's fine. That's how she knows something really bad happened. <laughs> Every time yeah, you start yeah. that way. Yep, everything's fine. But we ran over Philip with the truck. 
<laughs> so, yep. Oh, my. I'm going to ask Phil about So, Phil, uh, Phil's a tough kid. Brother Phil. Brother yeah. Phil. He Brother is, Phil. He is Gumby. He is impossible Holy to destroy. I've heard, I've heard many truck. stories. That's only one story. I got lots of stories yeah. about him. Yeah, I know. That's that's why I, I, he's he's but told I me several. I just don't want to be the them. one to run him over. Holy crap! I mean, I've been smoked by a golf cart before, but not an F two fifty. No, I I remember I was I was drinking too many beers with Phil at, at his house, and he was telling me all these different stories about how like he's just impossible to destroy. Like he's just like Gumby. Like you can just keep, he's immortal. Yeah, he, should, he is he Highlander. Should, he, there can be only one. He should come drinking with my friend. <laughs> That's me. I'm impossible to destroy. I mean, yes. Becky falls in fires and comes out like unscathed. Oh, I walk <laughs> over. I get dragged yeah, walk through fire. The unburned one? Yes, the mother she of dragons. Is the, mother she of is dragons. the unburned one. Uh, was, uh, uh, have you met her kids? Queen of the horse lords. I don't get uh, that. Yep. Yeah, well, uh, look, uh, yeah, Game I, of Thrones. I, yeah, I Game was going to say, I wanted to say Game of Thrones here. I've never, she, seen, I've never uh, seen it. Daenerys either. Stormborn <laughs> has a list this long. Her name is incredible. Like, that's There was a meme about, uh, you know, like how Coke always had, like, you know, pictures of people's names on it. It was like, you know, share mm-hmm. a Coke with Daenerys Stormborn, Mother of Dragons, the Unburned One, Queen of the Horse Lands, so, yada, yada, I mean, yada. The, every okay. time I hear about that, I always think about the Halloween party that, we had that's her yes. yeah because we were going to switch outfits we had that on podcast there's a oh, reason yeah. there's a reason why she dressed up as her for Halloween I'm trying to remember legit. what the bet Makes was sense. but what, well, so what you were getting a tattoo light hair yeah. Yeah. I was going to get a skin, tattoo yeah. of your, your face on my ass yep. if you guys actually switched costumes your face on my ass they didn't quite <laughs> I would cost. pay just, for that. I know. Ha- I know. Just hair. I know. <laughs> just go what? back to the Halloween episode and listen to that one. Oh, just no, hair. I remember it now. No, I made the bet with somebody. I'm like, if they actually switch costumes, I will get a tattoo of Daryl's face on my ass. And if ass. I knew that, I'd have stripped and And then swore. everybody <laughs> went back. <Yeah. laughs> if I, I knew too. that. Yes, I would. I was afraid because everybody ran in the back like, oh, shit. <laughs> I would I would absolutely. That would have been swapped. fantastic. <laughs> I think I would have had the better end of that, though. I don't know if you'd have the better end. You'd be on the worst end, if you know what I mean. (laughs) You just mean yeah. But whose clothes am I wearing? Oh, look at that! (laughs) Well, all right. All right. Okay, Derry. All right. Okay. Moving on. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What's next? More letter, Kenny. All right. Okay, Derry. All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. I miss it. I wish that. I mean, they're not going to bring it back. So my my wife recently restarted watching the Trailer Park Boys because oh my watched, gosh, what? I promised my buddy Bender that I would start watching it, and I still have. So I've and I need oh, to. that's fantastic. I've I've watched. You know, I've seen Trailer Park Boys end to end, and I'm. I kind of got to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm kind of over it. Like the early seasons, though. The I, early scenes were I, much better. I, I really enjoy. Whose phone is that? That's mine. Son of a. Bitch. <laughs> Johnny. Throw him in the gulag. You've yelled at me enough. I silenced my phone now. All right. Uh, but yeah, um, so it's like the early seasons is like, okay, so yes. I've been enjoying that, like, you know, hearing it while she's doing her artwork and like, you know, just yelling quotes from across the house. And, There's and, a slight uh, chance I might have to step away and take that. She we'll doesn't like Letter Kenny. Oh, she's what? like, she says, I don't get it. And I'm like, what? What's what's there to get? There's nothing to get. No. It's the same thing as Trailer Park Boys. There's a very loose overarching theme built around the characters and as long as you watch each episode there's no continuity. It's not yeah. like it's not like you're like three seasons deep is like, "Oh my god, I missed that reference in season 1. Now I don't understand it." It's like stir stir And then they come out with Shorzy. Yeah. <laughs> also a good show. I still haven't watched Shorzy. Oh, it's good. It's really good, actually. It's good. I don't think it's used letter, Kenny, but still good. No, I would agree with that, but still in its good. own right, it's good. So out of those ones, I've only watched Trailer Park Boys, so. I still haven't. <laughs> you have time. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I've been, trying, I've been trying to get her on the letter, Kenny train for a while because I feel like it's, I think it's better than Trailer Park Boys. It, like, holds up better. You know, I think the characters are more relatable because they're more normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like Trailer Park Boys are like extreme versions. Except the dicks, yeah. they're you just know. funny though. Well, that, and the, um, <laughs> what's funny about that is that Jonathan Torres is the same guy who plays J Rock in Trailer Park Boys. So the ah. the guy with the 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 father, you know, the yeah. father dick, that's Jonathan yeah. Torres. He's J Rock. <laughs> yeah. I'm really gonna have to start watching I got, that show. Well, he almost got me cross once. <laughs> 
I can't remember enough of anything he says to quote. Him. Yeah, he's he's the same guy who plays J Rock in Taylor Park Boys. That's why I kept telling him. I said, I said J Rock's in this. He's your favorite character. Like we need to watch Letter Kenny and no, nope. must be driving. She just doesn't get it, which is is fine. You know, it's not like I'm a, a Letter Kenny evangelist like I am for Futurama. I oh. didn't say dark words. Oh, well, of course I'm a, I'm a I'm a Dark Lord enjoyer. And I, I still think that we should uh, talk to them about doing our podcast live from Dark Lord Day next year. That would be awesome. They give you wristbands that say FOF on them. As and much as you talk about Floyd's. them, you should be getting paid. You, know, you can be a I'm friend of call, Floyd's. I'm going to call hold for you got to travel to Indiana for, for three days. I got to make okay. a quick call. Good. Okay. So we'll be right back. You can cut before that. Just have yeah, I'm gonna, I'm Are gonna you leaving a recording? Uh, I'm going to leave a recording. So we still can bullshit. We can, but I... Oh, is he going to be Oh, you're going to sit here. All right. You paperwork pulverizing paralegal, this epic ode is for you, the legal eagle who can find a loophole faster than a rabbit running from a fox. You're out there, battling the barrage of briefs, turning legalese into layman's terms while life tries to bury you in bureaucracy. So grab that frosty pint of amber ale, gulp it down like a precedent you just set, and face the day with the audacity of a lawyer who's fresh out of objections to give. You've got resilience, resourcefulness, and the most righteous brew within your reach. Here's to you, the law lord, turning life's trials into triumphant verdicts. Now, let's get back to it and subpoena this day into submission. The only case we want to see is the one filled with beer bottles. So bottoms up, you litigious legend. Let's show this day how we pass the bar. You got, you received a picture of me. Washing oh. dishes. I'm pretty sure your mom took a picture of me washing I, cups. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> your Stacey mom mad at me? No. Lies. Welcome <laughs> back from the extended commercial break to high gravity. My mom will never I don't listen know where to this we left shit off. anyways. <laughs> the minute you guys start swearing, no, she's not listening. <laughs> no, I, I also took a picture of, uh, was it Gary drinking from your cup because you, you stole a drink from, from his and you got in trouble for it. Yeah. <laughs> It's on, your, it's on your permanent file, but then HR tore it up because HR is corrupt. <laughs> HR has been corrupted. I'm pretty HR. sure every time she fills my beer, she takes a sip first. How is that <laughs> acceptable? Control. Quality control. I was going to say, yeah, I got to go with quality control on that one. I, just yeah. wanna, I don't want to poison you. I trust, I trust <laughs> Becky to taste my beer for me. I, I mean, Please I'm stop not... tasting customers' beers. <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't, not customer. It's not all oh, customers, not though. She doesn't it's taste my all. beer. It's family. not all customers. All family. She so I feel like if Becky beer. tastes no, your beer first, you're special. It's because she spits in yours. But I'm not kink. Uh, I'm not kink shaming. That explains the weird. Do taste. you want to be family? If you're family, I will taste and make sure it's. I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm I'm unsure how to answer this question. Of course you want to be family. When you're here, you're family. Unlimited spit in your beer. I don't spit. I make sure it tastes good. <laughs> I'm gonna let Hopefully that one go. I, I, my mom said we always swallow. That answers my it's question true. then. It's true. <laughs> Moving on. That surprises me. She did say girls don't spit. And I was like, she, she has I've said that heard on numerous occasions. I've heard it. Your mom is innocent and she, I'm sure, said that without thinking that you're just awful degenerate perverts. I'm sure she didn't but realize she what knows. context we took it as, but she said it on multiple occasions. I got laughed at in the middle school playground when the boys asked me, do you spit or swallow? And I was like, oh, oh. girls don't spit. And they laughed and I was like... Why is that funny? And years later, you know, I was in like, my defense, I said I was recording this like a while ago, so yeah. everybody knows we're recording now. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, I, I also I experienced that my my mother was was quite is innocent, you know. So there was a lot of those jokes that mm-hmm. like, it's because I'm a degenerate. It's Me not too. it's not my fault. Okay. High five. <laughs> yep. So anyways, I can come by it honestly. <laughs> I think most of us are empty or almost <laughs> empty. Uh, do you want me to get some of your beer to try? Oh, that's empty. Okay, sure. Third episode. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, we can go for it. All the, oh, nope. There's still a little bit of the beer we didn't like left. Oh. Well, we're getting Johnny? the finja now. I, I'm going to wait till we're finja. done because I'm going to stop finja. when it's actually in chunks. Wait, where are your pictures? Yeah, the, uh, the, the finja, um, for those not in the know, is a new beer oh. here at StarCraft that you will... Uh, Probably not get because when this comes out, it'll be gone. But <laughs> if it's if it's good enough, it'll probably make a return. And so, I, for one, 
uh, have opinions about it that we will share when we're drinking it. If they're a Patreon subscriber, though, they get early access. So as soon as I get it edited, it gets uploaded. Ooh. So subscribe to the Patreon. Because so I get the early access? Yeah, you're the only one. <laughs> because you're, I, you're not even paid, so you still don't get early access. <laughs> I've read things about engagement on the internet, and I mm-hmm. hear if you ask people to do things, they're more likely to do like, it. Like, subscribe, follow, share, tell everybody that you know you want them to listen to the show. <clears throat> Amen. Yeah. And, and then subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> just remember, if you stick with us long enough, eventually we'll be good at this. <laughs> what? <laughs> eventually, Daryl and Johnny will be good at this. Ow. I'm a natural. Fair enough. And Everything I touch is good. I've been podcasting longer than everyone here combined. Thank you. And yet. I feel like you 56,000 downloads from that show. <laughs> I think that actually might be 36, not 56, but... Like a lot. I, Although I will say, as as a fellow listener, I get I don't want to say the word. I get excited, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I do enjoy when Jim has to read the descriptions because I think that's yeah, my favorite yeah. part. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start. He's got that very that's, deep booming I, voice yes. into the microphone. That that's our money maker totally right there. Good. I'm going to start reading romance novels. <laughs> But only ones about real estate novelists. Oh, please do. Yes, re- please do. <laughs> How about the new... Uh, and that house was 36,000 square feet. Ooh, start reading this. I will start reading any of the books your wife tells me to. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I will. That that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Because I would be like like Gilbert Godfrey reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, does she read like kind of like <laughs> soft porn? Soft? You know There's nothing soft about it. I don't know. There's I, four or five pages of warning labels <gasps> before you're allowed to read the book. Oh, that sounds exciting. They use the word. Page. Yeah, the TikTok, oh, but I won't say Come it on, on this. Come and join us. Come say hi. Aw, <laughs> Mark looks like he's welcome been to the microphone, Mr. And we've Mark. Been drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? We got a little bit left. Hello, we can sir. Just give him the whole oh. picture. <laughs> Perfect. This is the the new beer, the the Finja. Oh yeah. So talk into the mic. Tell us what you think. Oh, well, smell it. it and taste it. <laughs> Let him taste we it. We actually haven't even smelled or tasted it yet. <laughs> Put him on the spot. That's really refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Very, very good. Well, after good. welding and working, I imagine any cool oh, beer. Yeah. 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 You get rid of that nasty metallic taste that's in the mouth. Oh, you pull yeah. some of the shit out your nose, and then you can smell it. Yeah. How'd it go? I got one more seam to do. Oh, so. cool. Almost there. Just taking a little break. <laughs> It'll be exciting when the when it's all done. I'm excited to see it all come together. It's never done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been getting that feeling. You know, this is this has been on your list for a while. A long time. I really like this one. Oh my God, this one's really good. good. I do too. <laughs> yeah. I do too. It is. It is. Well. I would say it's not it's high gravity, but like everything they do here, it's like, why do 5% when 6% is an option? I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yep. It's everything I do that I brew is to try and boost it up to the next level. I like it, though. It is yes. refreshing. No, it's good. Yes. It's flavorful. And Especially I've... for summer. It's yes. It's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Because it's for higher sure. octane, and but still light. Yeah. So. It's the rice. Yeah. <laughs> Gives it a nutty flavor. Mm. I was just going to say that. There's a nutty it's flavor. It's the nutty yep. flavor. So do you do you cook your rice first before you use it? No, I get flaked rice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's the... the Special what, ingredient. Yeah, Not the grains. The grains are... I'm sorry. The uh, sugars are already kind of fermentable. Yeah, it looks like uh, rice crispy treats. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, they or rice they, krispies. I mean, is it like like rolled oats where they like roll it through like a machine or how do no, they do it? they're puffed up. Oh, so, so do they? How do they do they? How do they do it? I don't know how they do the rice. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> I'm could not I, answering that. Could I eat that like a bowl of cereal but use beer as the milk? It doesn't taste the same. Oh, okay. You've, You've tried. Like You've tried this. I did. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was excited when I saw it. I understand. Because <laughs> I've just used regular ass rice before, but like I, I wash it first so I don't get too much of the that cloudy of the starch in my beer. What? You want... read the package. If you want to keep the vitamins and minerals, you don't rinse it. That's what the package says. I don't want my rice to taste gummy and like okay. be slimy. We'll try a different. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta rinse your rice grains. You gotta rinse jasmine rice. Come on. All right, well, jasmine rice. Yeah, that's, that's right. Thick, small it's and thin. And that's a sticky rice to begin with. Get like a regular yeah. Whole and grain. if you Long if you grain. don't rinse it, it's gonna come out sticky. And hey, no, 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 <laughs> no keys. No down down there. This is a brewing conversation about the etiquette of rice. <laughs> now, 
the black rice lager recipe that I have says to uh, cook the rice first before you add it. But you add the water you cook it in into that makes the, the grist. Yeah. So I think black rice, though, is kind of an anomaly. It is a, a lot different is than just, just like... just wild rice or is it an actual, like, different... I know there rice. is black wild rice, but imagine they're farming it because if you can buy it on Amazon, it's probably not wild. Yeah. It's from China. <laughs> it's rice. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Rice, you know, coming from some sort of Asiatic country. I don't know. That's That makes sense to me. It was probably printed. <laughs> printed rice. <laughs> Just imagine. We can, we can 3D print meat. Really Why can't we like 3D print uh, rice? I you know, so wouldn't it, want it, 3D it. printed meat. Mm -mm. I'd try it. I'd try it. I don't know. If it's real no. meat, if it's that lab-grown bullshit, they can I, kiss my ass. Well, how else when do you I think they're meat, 3D I printing it? <laughs> I don't know. If they liquefy actual meat and then just put it into a no. fucking protein stack and then but you that's print an interesting it to question. Like a T-bone. An interesting question. Where do you draw the line? What is meat and what's not? If it's the same chemical You've composition, seen the sign. it's meat. It comes down to like, you know, horses and cows and then dogs and cats. That's where the lines are drawn. I don't know if I have a line there. Versus apocalypse and non-apocalypse. I've situations. seen the memes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> that is a honest. beautiful 3D printed... <laughs> Object. What, what is it? What is it? Let's, see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, the the veins are a little <laughs> the veins are a little excessive for uh, me. That's a whole different yeah. kind of meat right there. Yeah. The veins are a little excessive. <laughs> Daryl, I'd say a little much. Daryl is sharing his 3D printing projects. Really <laughs> and you know, I think you could take some lessons from the crawlers that we had. Maybe yeah, add a little, <laughs> yeah, a little what? bit more width. Yeah. Do, yeah. do I need to? Demonstrate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Small hands, wide cans. I right, make sure we post the picture to the Patreon. It's no. Let's let's dildo. not post that. Let's not post it. It was a very oh wait for the Patreon. Dildo. We could post it on the Patreon. Yeah, very vain. People have to pay for that. They know what they're getting into. Well, they're supposed to pay. Well, for what's that. getting into them if they pay for that? We're not going to offer that service. <laughs> Now, get your high-gravity branded 3D printed dildos. Order them now off of darylsdildos.com. You know, asshole. <laughs> yes, you could use it there, too. Actually, I'm willing I'm willing to bet that darylsdildos.com is not a purchased URL, and you could own it. I already bought it. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Because I would I personally shop at DarylsDildos.com. Because that's look. a name you can trust. <laughs> he does like a shaved head. Well, <laughs> I should hope that you shouldn't have to. Yeah. Wow. Again, no judgments, Wolf family. Um, but if you have to, don't. Let it go natural, man. Hey, someone's got to love you for who you are. That's Daryl'sDildos.com. <laughs> Wholesale 3D printed dildos. You have to spell out Daryl because there's like three ways to spell that name. He owns all of them. It'll redirect. He does Don't not worry. know it. It's spelled as his name. As D A R R E L L. -O. <laughs> uh, get yours today. We offer custom products for a special price. That certain someone in you. So we, we had a white elephant party. We can segue. Um, <laughs> I had a white elephant party. I forgot about that. Uh, Mark and Johnny were there. Yep, you know. Yeah. And uh, my my friend texted me beforehand. I, I swear I've told this before, but we'll reiterate. Uh, my Thank friend texted me. He's, he's like, he's like, what kind of? Um, he's like, you know, what kind of crowd is this? He's like, you know, can I get jokes, gifts, and uh, it? I see it is available for one, one penny. penny. I told you Daryl'sDildos.com was not owned. No, oh it's not. And so far in two spellings, it's not owned. And one penny. <laughs> yep. And so my, my friend asked me, he's like, what, you know, is it acceptable to bring, like, you know, like, raunchy gifts or things like that? And I said, I've known this guy for my entire okay. life, so I know that. Stop searching. I know what he means. So I'm like, yeah, man. I said, the, the bigger the dildo, the funny it'll be. <laughs> and little did I know, um, <laughs> the total opposite of that, he brought one of those... Uh, I think clone it's called get clone a willy. It is a kit that you you mix up this uh, substance like and silicone. you you stick your you oh. know erect wiener in it and <laughs> wait till it sets and then fill it with the mold so you can clone your you know. They have clone a pussy too. Mm -hmm. I, I, so what? I would be worried about stuffing anything. What? <laughs> 
that's it's just got to be the the outside, right? Like what? I don't really feel yeah. comfortable with like. I feel like you what? shouldn't be. What the fuck happened I to agree. the show? Yeah, we're supposed yeah. to talk about beer. For the sake of comedy, you were talking about it. They do have that one too. Yo, the amount of shit these guys give me for going off topic about uh-huh. beer. They're talking about Kona Willy kit. No, look at the fucking <laughs> keys, Daryl. Look at your own goddamn keys. <laughs> Daryl showed me a picture of a dildo, and I just went off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Ass. That's yeah. my point. But now that people know that if they ever want a custom dildo, uh, Daryl'sDildos.com. <laughs> Customize your dildo today. <laughs> Based on the picture you showed me, though, oh, Daryl really likes the veins. Like it's like <laughs> when you get a Snickers bar and it doesn't have like the dick vein on the top, it doesn't taste the same. I think Daryl took that too far. Oh my god. The more pulsation, the better, I guess. Do we have any more alcohol? Do you have any more pictures of your 3D printed uh, phalluses, Daryl? Uh, see, just, you know, every third episode, just skip. <laughs> no, think, those are the worst and the best ones. I guess it depends on perspective. Yeah. I, I would, you know, I'd hate to think that we have more delicate listeners that we would offend with these kind of conversations. We got to weed them out somehow. Aww. As a listener, I would say the third episodes are usually my favorite. Yeah, see, point case. <laughs> well, that's why you're here because you're right. a DGen. I'm back. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? <laughs> well, we we've, we've been drinking this absolutely delicious uh, finja. Yeah, what the hell is nice. in this that made this conversation go that far off the rail? Uh, it's a fucking ninja. A fucking uh, ninja. <laughs> Daryl. Sneaky, sneaky. Daryl brought up a picture of a 3D printed dildo on his phone and showed I wasn't us. Even here. It's, I just it's got his back. fault. With a lot of veins. It's his fault. Mm-hmm. Were you back making a dildo? <laughs> That's Daryl's dildos.com. <laughs> now I'm going to have to buy this damn uh... Yes, you will. <laughs> I mean, and you're going to have to make a mold. <laughs> well, think about it. I already have one. <laughs> I think you. I think you know someone who has a pretty prolific following in uh, the space of eroticism. You might be able to segue from that. You know, maybe a few. Maybe a few. You He's know, use tiny URL. There's, there's there's such it, some of those books have such great descriptions that you probably could feed that into an AI like, and have it translate it into a 3D model like for you. Smutink.com. <laughs> Smut. Smut. You know, we at least have time for you to register these URLs before this episode. I don't oh, know he owns that one already. I do. Uh, okay. The okay. site's already up. Yeah, I I already knew that Look, one. Go to smutting.com. I know you've showed me it. Okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm on I'm top of this. It. I know. It's yours? Yeah. Oh, Smut Inc. Let's smell that one. What? Smut Inc. This is news to dot me. Com. It's a great yep. fucking name. Yes, honestly. My wife. <laughs> because I, I think I think the term Especially in this know? context, has changed. Um, <laughs> you're gonna want to spell that because S M U T I N K. You don't know how to spell smut. Okay, so ink as in incorporated. Ink incorporated. Like a book. Yeah, that does not bring that up with a C with a K. Those are two very different <laughs> websites, my friend. Well, you, you, if you switch out the C and the K, you get a gas station or something enjoyable. Oh no, no, you get a full on. Video website. I was talking about Come and Go, the gas station that's spelled with a K. (laughs) Come and Go. Uh, (laughs) But you can come and go in a slightly different context when you swap the C and the K. Oh, no, that's what comes up with with a C. What? Oh, my. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, that's what comes up with a C. It's still loading with the K. Ink as in incorporated. Daryl meant ink as in penning. Yeah. Yeah. You need to specify that, sir. So. No, I'm kind of glad this happened. I knew what he (laughs) meant. I'm not sure why your head went there. Smut ink. Ink is usually as in ink. incorporated. Ink. Oh, oh yeah, it just loaded. So yeah, I-N-K. so that's with a K. That's with a K. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a lot more. Unlock tight. your passions for printed pleasure. There's only purple handcuffs. It's on a that fun one. play on words. See, we joked about all this. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, there, um, Mr. Jim, Mr. Jim, just read it. I didn't oh, even read oh, it, but you gotta read it. Read this? You gotta read it. Yes. Hold on, we're gonna oh. mute everybody, so although you realize this is for the founder. But he he muted me. Yeah, I uh, see. As an avid reader with a penchant for the enchanting realms of dark and gritty novels, books have always been my sanctuary. My name is Nicola Nova, and I founded SmutInc.com out of a deep-seated love for literature and thrills and the fashion that speaks. To me, every page turned is an adventure. Every character's struggle is a garment waiting to be tailored. It started with a simple desire to translate the passion of the page into a wearable expressions. 
From the engaging depths of romance to the twists of paranormal plots, our merchandise ignites conversations and celebrates our community's shared infatuations with the written word. At SmutInc.com, we're not just selling products. We're weaving narratives into the fabric of everyday life. Witness your favorite stories leap off the page into a, ward a wardrobe. And thank you for supporting this journey into printed pleasure. Nicola Nova, book lover and proud founder of SmutInc.com. Nicola? Holy but, shit! Know, <laughs> That was perfect. Thank you. That was fun. That's actually a really good description. I like that a lot. Good job. Yeah, did, nice. you, did you use AI for that? A little bit. Nah, I well, figured, when yeah. you scroll down the picture while having a certain element of... I didn't scroll down. Uh, well, there you go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Aw. You know, back in my day, we called Does that MySpace angles. That? Yeah, she okay. wanted me to put this together. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> hope that's a generic phone number that's on that. Well, goes my phone. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and call it. <laughs> How does that forward you to DarylsDildos.com? <laughs> it should. Making sales. Making it sales. Should. <laughs> now, whenever you answer that number, Dildos.com. <laughs> DarylsDildos.com. <laughs> oh, God damn. It kind, of flow, it kind of flows, though. I mean, I... Uh, like you wish it would print it. <laughs> double Ds. Yeah. So both ways. I got a friend of mine. That's his drunk persona. Is we call him Double D. If he gets really drunk, it's Triple D. That is a very rare sighting. Oh my. Yeah, he gets. I think I need some food. It's bad. We're getting there. Uh, We're getting me. there, and it's about time. It is about time that we have some lunch. It's probably. Although this is getting really weird and fun. I kind of want. Does anyone? Going. Anyone else want hot dogs after that conversation? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. But definitely it's, not. It's good. It's, Only if it's loaded. Sausage. It's the oh, <laughs> the only food I don't eat is hot dog. So I'm not. A but a, a sausage, kibasa, I'm in. Mm. Yeah, nice and like uh, long, not not thick like these cans. You know, oh, it's, a little too thick. it's too big to fit in my mouth. I can't eat that. <laughs> you know, it's too wide. Can't open enough. Hey, you know, I I I only have so much mouth. <laughs> I only have so much I can eat. This is the show that'll cancel us. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No one's listening to us. No one's gonna cancel us. They, they listen around that's a, the world. That's We're a challenge. Global. That's we a challenge global. to our listeners to, you know. Right. Add more people. Yeah, get us canceled by sharing us to don't, the right Don't crowd. subscribe. Don't okay. share. Yeah. Don't. Or like. We don't like anybody. Tell your friends about it. <laughs> That's true. Like I said, we could just show up here at 10 a.m. and drink on our own, but we're recording it instead. Because yes. we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me in with you. I'm also dumb. My two brain cells are working really hard today. So does that mean we're going to call it then? I'm ready for some lunch. Yeah, I suppose. We could have a lunch. I could eat. All right, well, thank you all for joining us. I'm sorry the show went so downhill <laughs> so fast. You're welcome. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon where apparently it can be worse. Well, you just get early access to it. That's all that is. Like, subscribe, share. We'll add some dick pics to the Patreon later. No, yeah, no, we won't. Videos. No, we feet, won't. Feet pics. There Sorry. No feet videos. Picks. No feet pics. No feet dick pics. pics. So videos. No, no, no. Patreon for feet videos. <laughs> no. DarylDildos.com. Daryl's 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 a free dildo with every Patreon subscriber. DarylDildos.com. No, we are not committing yes, to that. We are, no, we are 3D printing tomorrow. dildos and sending them out to all Patreon subscribers. Subscribe to the Patreon for free. DarylDildos.com. <laughs> But it's a clone of Willie, and you just get a keychain. <laughs> if you didn't learn anything today, at least remember this. Fear is the answer that makes everything better. Can't remember the question, but who cares when you have a cold one in your hand? Remember, everybody, drink responsibly, drink high gravity. Most importantly, drink well. <laughs> okay, not the well. Life's too short for bad beer. Stay, Stay frosty, frosty, my friends. friends.